Hey guys, welcome back to another new video and today I'm going to try something absolutely crazy because I'm only going to be using three colors and five color pencils and those are yellow, blue and red and in addition I'm only using black and white. So let's hope this turns out good. As you can see I did my sketch previously and now I'm lightening it with kneadable eraser as always. If you have been searching on YouTube for any color pencil tutorials, then I'm sure you would have heard this name, Kirsty Partridge Art. Because she is one of the most popular YouTube artists who does color pencil tutorials, watercolor tutorials and lots of different stuff. And I am a really huge fan of her because I really love her videos and I learned a lot from her. So recently she posted this video where she created a beautiful realistic looking uh, ring where she used only five colored pencils and only three colors and those are the exact same yellow blue and red and in addition black and white i kind of understand how that works because red yellow and blue are the primary colors and you can mix almost any different color using only those three colors so this wasn't a new concept this is something that have been around for a really long time but at the same time, I didn't know that we can do the same thing with color pencils because with paint, you can easily mix together all the different colors and pigments. But if it's color pencil, the only way of mixing color pencil is by layering. So I was quite confused, but at the same time, it was so damn interesting to try it out. So if you haven't watched her video yet, then I'll leave a link to that in the description box down below so that you can check it out after underline after watching this video getting back to today's video let's talk about a few things that helped me achieve this kind of realistic looking palette with only three colors the major thing that you need to understand is the color wheel and it looks like this and the major colors are the primary colors are red yellow and blue and all of the colors in between are the secondary colors and they are achieved by mixing any of the primary any two of the primary colors together as you can see red plus yellow gives orange and red plus blue gives violet and blue plus yellow gives green these three colors are the secondary colors and the all the colors in between these two are the tertiary colors the colors that can be achieved by mixing a primary and the secondary color together once you understand this basic principle of the color wheel, I'm sure you can draw absolutely anything with using only three colors. And the major purpose of black and white is to lighten that color or to darken it up. If I am using paint, then that would have been easier for me to mix all the colors that I want. But since I'm using color pencils, the only way for me to mix is by layering. And since I'm only using three colors, I had to add lots of layers of different colors. If I am to achieve orange, then I have to layer one layer of yellow and again red and then yellow and then red. And if I want to get rid of all the grains in the paper, then I have to keep doing it again and again to get that exact color that I want. At first, I really thought that this is going to be really hard and extremely confusing for me to try because I only had three colors and I didn't know what to do for a really long time. But then I got used to that and I was not confused anymore. In my opinion, I really don't think that this is a beginner friendly thing to do. Because if I was a beginner and if I had to try something like this and that is to use only five color pencils, I would be so scared because this is going to be so daunting for me. So this is not a beginner friendly thing to do. So then who is it for? Well, if you already know a little bit about colors and how they work together and if you have experience of layering technique, then this is for you. If you are going to try something like this, then do let me know. Do share it with me on social media like Pinterest or Instagram and I'll leave links to that in the description box down below so that you can check it out. That's it for today and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. And I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye, everybody.